and we are back we are back thank you for staying with us if you're just joining us well you are on time for the first conversation of the day and uh, we are talking about what next after casey is see now that we have the results with us here yeah. are you a form for um um you're not a candidate anymore are you a form for liver or do you know someone who has just finished from four? This is for them. And it might just be for you if you're at home and you, you are trying to figure out your career and what to do next. This might just also apply to you. And for this particular conversation, I've been joined by Odiambo Habat. He is an evangelist, a dedicated teacher from Miranda. He teaches at Miranda and also a career coach. Welcome. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy we met last year. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. mm. So, um, first of all, let me take this opportunity to congratulate 2023 candidates mm -hmm. uh, by extension, Miranda High School yeah. and Nova Pioneer Eldorate Boys. Okay. Yeah. So, you performed really good. According to this paper, with me here, I have the standard. Now that you work for Miranda, I believe you're very proud. Uh, according to this paper, Miranda uh, is number three. Well, three it, Miranda has tied with Capsabet boys, and this is according to the number of A's that they've gotten. The first one being uh, Moi High School, Kabarak, with 62 A's. Then we have Alliance High School with 54 A's. Then Capsabet boys and Miranda High have 53, <coughs> 53 A's. So you must be a one proud teacher. Yes, of course. <laughs> Good. Yeah, um, what do you what do you make of what do you make of this results before we get into our conversation? Because um, according to a different paper that I I read early in the morning, they were saying there's been a flop because around six hundred and something students. Let me just get the the, the right figure. Um, six hundred and something. That should be people daily have actually um, six. 690,000 students failed to score uh, the varsity entry point, that's C+. Plus. And uh, also we're seeing a good number of A's, A's here. So how do, you, how do you think of the performance generally? I think basically I think the performance was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the boys did their best. Of course, the, that is an indication of a normal curve. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think it was just okay. Mm -hmm. mm. So it was fair enough? It was fair enough uh -huh. for the boys <laughs> okay. and for the students. For the boys and for the girls. <laughs> yes. All sure. right. Mm. So now um, we're talking about students who have scored uh, those that actually fall in that in that category of six hundred and ninety thousand. You know, students who have not uh, gotten the C plus. The C plus. You know. Yeah, sure. So so what what next for them? Uh, sometimes uh, students do think that uh, KCS is all that it's. It is about life, that life is all about KCC. Mm -hmm. I think there are so many things that happen after KCC. There's a life to live after KCC. And um, the sooner the students know, the better, because it will help them align their um, purpose and goals. If you're expecting to get a C plus in, in KCC and you fail, does life stop there? Mm -hmm. Do you stop? doesn't okay yeah and if you were planning to go to the university but again you don't make it does it mean an end to your your dreams mm -hmm. you see yeah. so there's hope even to that student who scored um, a C C C plane mm -hmm. and below, below and below yeah. okay so there's hope and it's actually not uh, it doesn't the results don't determine your future yes sure <laughs> there's mm -hmm. a question we're actually asking on social media we're asking guys uh, how the KCC has affected uh, their future. So one with the one with the other, does it influence the person that should become? Uh, um, the results? Yeah, the results. If you let's say you get an A, does it influence the person you become? If you get a D, does it affect the person you'll be? I think it all has to do with attitude and mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we know if you go through the pages of history. The people that are very successful, mm -hmm. some didn't do very well in high school, and others are also very successful. Yes, they did very well in high school. Yeah, and um, it, I don't think it really changes much, but though passing in your exam is a springboard, you mm -hmm. see, it's like a springboard. You know, we can't do away with that, you yeah. see. Yeah, but uh, I believe that um, 
it shouldn't bring you down. Yeah, mm. even if you didn't get what you wanted, there's it still shouldn't. hope. There's hope. Yeah. But we're also not, um, you know, dismissing the fact that it's actually very important. And, you know, springboard, it propels you further yes. if you actually pass. But if you're not, if you haven't, then there's still hope, right? Mm. So how should, how do you think um, parents should react to this? Because it's actually also influenced by the reaction of the parents towards <laughs> the student. You know, the parent, the community looks at the parent, the parent looks at the student and everyone else, their eyes are on you. So sometimes it's the, it's the influence around you, it's not even you. Yes. It's the pressure that you, you get from people around you mm. or the feeling of disappointment that you can you get from them. So how do you advise even parents to to react to that, to respond to this? Okay, so basically, uh, you see, when, um, when students go to school, I understand that the parents have the expectations, and that is a lot of pressure. From the system that I come from, uh, normally you get students talk and they say, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I have to do this for my parent. I have to pass for my parent. I have to, I have to maybe get an A for mm -hmm. my parent. So you will find students that are propelled by the pressure, but not motivated because they, their passion isn't there, you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Simply what I'm trying to say is this. Uh, there are so many parents that are pressuring their sons and daughters to get a specific grade, to get um, maybe to a desired course or a mm -hmm. something like a profession, you yeah. see. But with a student, you, the student might be interested in pursuing maybe, uh, let me say journalism, and the dad or the mom wants the student to pursue uh, maybe law or something like that. Yeah. So the passion is not there, but the papers are there, you see. So when it ends in a way like now when the student fails to get what the parent expected, I think we should sit down and say, now this is what we have on the table. You've given us a C plus and we expected a B plane or we expected an A, you see. So from here, what do we do? So they sit and check on the strengths and maybe see where to build. So they, they start building and uh, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, cheering the student on. Okay, mm. and with a, with a new system mm -hmm. that also placing the students in the university, how fair, is it fair enough for where you're sitting? Because I <laughs> see that now there's like, it's mathematics and language and um, the five top subjects that they scored best at. Uh, I can't comment much on the grading system of, of the country per se, mm -hmm. but I think what the system should do it should carry out a market study to get to know that in the future, mm -hmm. let me say in the, four, in the next four years, how many doctors do we need? In the next four years, how many nurses or how many teachers do we need? So that they don't give an open ground or a, an open system where people basically, uh, you know, they just sit for the exams, they qualify for doctors, but to be doctors, but in the end, we have a lot of people in the field that are not absorbed, yeah. you see, yeah. So I think that is what should be considered. Mm -hmm. And uh, even on the grading system, when they are coming up with those various strategies of grading, they should have that in mind. Okay. So that we don't have people all over the market that are not absorbed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, and the lack of employment there. Sure. Mm. All right, so now um, back to the students. So what next now? What, how would you advise them to, to go about life after, after form four. After form four. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, I think getting done with form four brings an end to a hard life and pressure and you know um, the expectation that the education system brings mm -hmm. not per se uh, to the tertiary levels but up to form four. You understand the pressure. Mm -hmm. So when the student is done with uh, his form four, he sits at home, and now he has a freedom that wasn't there initially, <laughs> you see. Yeah. So they are stranded. Now what do, I ha what do I do with this freedom that I have? I have all the time. Uh, probably I'm going to be here for one year. What do I do with this time that I now have? How am I going to, to pursue? So mm -hmm. uh, uh, the some parents also share in this because they, they have never been at home with their parents for that long. So they don't know how to approach this as well. So you find some end up uh, 
maybe getting gadgets for their stu their sons and daughters to keep them busy over the period as they wait to enroll for the university. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it is important to take note that this time, this season, maybe one year or two or the six months that they'll be out, they have to do something. Yeah. And uh, you know, when you're done with your tertiary levels, when mm -hmm. you're done with your campus, you're fresh from campus, you normally have your CV, but you are discouraged to walk into offices because it is one page CV. So at this point, this is a time when a student, mm -hmm. a form for liver can, uh, of course, um, try to balance and work on some areas that can help build the CV. Either one by enrolling for short courses. This is a time they can enroll for short courses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By short courses, um, you mean the likes of computer packages? Yes, the likes of computer languages, packages. Yeah. Uh, languages, either German or French. Mm -hmm. They can check on um, things like guidance and counseling, graphic design, mm -hmm. you see. I, I think that can add, maybe later on when they're done with their, 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 their university education, then that can add to the professional experience that they have. Okay. Yeah, so we have that. They need to check on uh, mm -hmm. on the short courses. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Most even computer is very important. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very important because um, the market is evolving. And each and every new day you find uh, they're incorporating IT everywhere. Mm. Yeah, we also have companies that will require graphic designs people to, you know, yeah. do the marketing, branding, and all that stuff. So yeah. the uh, the m the math skills you get you have, then yes, the, better the better it is it makes you for you in terms of more marketable. Market. Yes, okay. You you're very marketable. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, in our case, you have a student with an A plane. Maybe you have two students with an A plane. They come to you here today. They want a job. Okay, mm -hmm. there's an opening, and uh, you 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 need to strike out because you have to pick the best. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, they are all from fours. They have all A's. All of them, they have their A's. And uh, you need to pick the best. Of mm -hmm. course, you'll go for the guy that has extra, you see. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So you need to have that extra factor. Extra. And, and this is the time for them to, to actually go out and get that extra factor, because they have time. <laughs> <laughs> and time, the time is not for Netflix and chill, because sure. uh, you know a lot of uh, for fours, I know they are mm. now just the having fun, mm. you know, enjoying the time of their life, the freedom. And now that the results are out, you know, before the results are out, you usually have the, the nervousness. Oh, you don't really enjoy. <laughs> There's that pressure. <laughs> There's that see. pressure. Yeah. And now that the pressure is, is off, now they, they want to relax. But now is actually the time to, to go out. This is the time to build, to build themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they need to go out. There are so many online, even online. Online There's so many courses. online courses that they can register. Mm -hmm. mm. Very free. Mm. You check with the Google, you'll find even data analysis. Uh, such courses are there. Very the free. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you even marketing, they can find them there. They can even start mm. working before they get to university. Yes, the, you know, sure. the, the online jobs that are there, that's mm. created. We have Ajira, you know, platforms that the government has provided that's actually giving people opportunity. So it's actu actually a good thing because when you finish from four, you're 18 already and you can do a lot of things, sure. right? So you just make uh, use of the resources that you have. Yes, right. and before, before they pick on uh, maybe the short courses, you know, there are some key things. There are, there are things that must be set in place before. Mm -hmm. And one, they must have an ID. Like if you're done with your form four and you are of age, just try and look for your ID. That mm -hmm. is one, get an ID. <laughs> 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 you see? Yeah, just get an idea. Yeah, you're a you citizen. Uh -huh. mm. you're, you know, that makes you an, a citizen. Mm. And then two, ensure you have an email address. Of oh. course, it will help you in, in uh, joining, when you're joining, when you're applying <laughs> for the university, yeah. the courses and all that. Mm -hmm. The lecturer will be communicating through such, you see. Okay. And of course, uh, uh, they must also be, uh, you know, awake. Like, uh, they have their eyes open everywhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. uh, you know these are basic things that you need to have. You're yeah. now a citizen, and then lastly, they need to have a bank account. <laughs> Whether they like it or not, you know you'll have to. You must have a bank you account. Need to have a bank account. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, those are some of the basics. Those are some of the basics, mm -hmm. and then now they can move on to the the short courses, and then we also have uh, mm, apart from the short courses, mm -hmm. 
you know, they can also learn to develop their talents, mm -hmm. you see. Like, if I'm good at drawing, this is the time to perfect my skill. Mm -hmm. you see, I have six good years, I mean six good months, <laughs> six good months to, to stay at home or even one year perhaps, you see. Yeah. Mm. To perfect in my skill. So you can perfect talent. the talent that you have. If you know how to play an instrument, a sax, you can learn. If you don't know, you can actually learn. This is the time you can use that to learn. Mm -hmm. You can learn how to play the pianos, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the guitar. You mm. can la train yourself to dance, you see. Yeah. yeah <laughs> these are things you can do uh, that can really help you grow and develop yourself. All right. Mm. So do the, the most that you can or the little that you have make the most out of this time yeah. and you've mentioned email address so you have you haven't <laughs> told from four livers how email addresses you have professional names yeah you get people using their facebook sure. names mm. or their email addresses <laughs> but it should be professional <laughs> yeah of course you, you need to there's a time there's a time uh, I, I i i was receiving some applications mm. and uh it was just through gmail <laughs> and the emails that i received Somebody has an email, an email like gengeton at gmail.com, <laughs> 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 you see, or, uh, or yeah. boozling, boozling <laughs> at gmail.com. Oh so you, yeah. you know, even that image that the email portrays, mm -hmm. you know, when you look for a, a, a serious company to employ you, they look at whether you are still a boy or you are a man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically they will go for men. Okay. And men go for <laughs> class, you know, things like that exactly yeah, sure. so keep it as professional official as names and that's it you can mm. add nu numbers to mm. it if it doesn't i yeah. mean it's very easy to create an email so now um let me ask you for those that it's also the time that i believe they're choosing wh what they want to 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 study some are have not decided yet and it's it's usually a, a difficult place for some people to be in so what would you how do you advise them to choose their careers? Because this is also a very serious thing to do. When you choose mm. wrong, then you, you're mm. four years, if it's a degree, mm. you go through it. And some people actually do the degree and decide this is not what I wanted to do, and they do another, which is fine for them. Mm. But to save that time, how do you decide on the right career path? <laughs> Thank you. So uh, I've been interacting with people, and there's one time I met a guy in the streets out there. Mm -hmm. And then he, he was a graduate, but I found him selling some stuff that was really paying very well. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, why are you not going for uh, the, the job that you studied, like something like that? Mm -hmm. And then he gave me one question, <laughs> that uh, all the minds, every thought ends in money, you see. Like mm -hmm. everything that you do mm -hmm. in the long run, <laughs> <laughs> what you want is money. money. <laughs> <laughs> what you want is money. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think I don't want to buy into that much, but uh, you need to get something that can f put food on the table mm -hmm. and uh, can give you a comfortable life. Okay. Something that you like doing, that you enjoy doing. Of mm -hmm. course, this is the time when we have the parents at war with their kids. I want you to go for medicine. <laughs> and the other one, no, Dad, I want to be a musician. Mm -hmm. You see, so what do we do? How do we strike this balance? Uh, they need to seek a counselor. They need to sit down and talk about it <laughs> with yeah. a counselor. Yeah, but but there are those that you know it's easier said than done. For for those that their parents aren't open to to say, you know, they have mm. said it. We are paying fees, I'm the or one you paying are the out. Fee. I'm the one paying the fee. Yes, you either do this course or you go and find you your, go. your way yeah, yeah, sure. by yourself. Mm. So do you go with what the parents want you to do or do you, what do you do? Now what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I yeah. Personally, I think I'd advise you speak to someone who can speak to your parents mm. if you can get through to them. And uh, yeah, but you, you have to have a good conviction that the course that you want to do is actually what's, you are you are passionate about yes. right mm. so such that you do not make a mistake if sure. you want to do mm. medicine and your parents are telling you to do law you have to have a conviction that medicine is what mm. i'm actually called to you know this is my passion this is what will drive me 
not make the right the wrong choice uh you know at the end of at the end of the day so according to you you've said you are learning to passion and something that will also bring you money at the end of yes, the day at the end of the day <laughs> it's all about money mm -hmm. yeah in as much as there are other things but again they will revolve around money and money yeah, you need money to make food you need money to dress <laughs> you need money to do everything so uh, you will also have to look at that and then again i would really advise the young men and girls that are watching this mm -hmm. today uh, that they need to go for courses that are uh, uh, you know it's not all about degree yeah it's mm -hmm. not about degree you might have your c plus but it's not about going to the university look at the market study the market before you sit for that course check on the market um, availability you see mm -hmm. you know uh, we have been in the system where you go to the university and you find uh, a course that has a funny name. Yeah. It might be very interesting. Mm -hmm. And you say, now this one is the one I want. The one that talks about animal husbandry. <laughs> this is the one I want. You yeah. see, uh, this one that talks about uh, anthropology or something like that. Yeah. So you end up having or taking time, maybe four, five years through a system, you know, taking a course, and at the end of the day, you go back to other things that you really didn't unrelated yeah. to your course. Yeah, so you need to take your time right now and mm -hmm. study the market. Take your time, study the market and get to know which course is really ideal for you at that particular point. Mm -hmm. um, these technical courses are very important. Okay. In as much as in as much as people tend to debate much about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y they give you that practical skill that you need to go out there okay. to employ in the market. So t uh, the technical courses, maybe you can mention them so that they uh, know. We have technical courses like uh, the plumbing, we have the, the, the surveys. The hands-on. Yeah, hands-on, you know. Kind of uh, 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 courses, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. So mm. those help you to, to make a living. Sure. Even when... In you know even when you're not employed even when you're not employed, employed you can have something to do you earn you from them yes and uh, and now for those that haven't made the c plus and above mm. mark the the vocational training the yes. tv training they can go to that it's also a good start and that's sure. what you're also just saying mm. it's a good start for them it's a good start mm -hmm. it's a good start it will give you um a stepping stone mm -hmm. you see yeah and again uh uh, sometime back I met a guy who told me that as you're leaving the institution, don't go out to look for jobs. Be a job creator. Yeah, so try to have that mindset. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to school to study so that I, I, I be employed at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to get out of the institution as a teacher, find or get to learn how the system works. I go start a school somewhere. A private school somewhere and they employ people mm -hmm. yes okay be <laughs> have a mindset of a job creator yes. you know you have to because the world is becoming very competitive mm -hmm. very very competitive yeah okay mm. create employment for people out there people are kind create of em the employment then uh youths are going through yeah so, uh, so thirdly uh what next after form for you need to give back to the community mm -hmm. mm. you know so. you um in school for the four years you're not there with your mom sometimes you came occasionally when the schools were closed mm -hmm. and um, you were all over you know you got back to this that time that that attachment is not there I don't know if you're getting me you. so that attachment isn't there mm -hmm. so you need to give back to the community when you're back take your time visit the orphanages the children's home visit the hospitals you see Go visit some elderly women somewhere, do the cleaning, slash for them, you know, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. They will help you uh, learn some things that you were not able to learn during your school time. Okay. You see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be available. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. So I like that. Be available. Be available. All right. Give, give back <laughs> to the community. I give think back that's to the community. a so social mm -hmm. responsibility mm -hmm. to every one of us. And it actually builds on your CV once you... Sure. You get to university and you're looking for mm. opportunities. You know, you don't have much on your CV, as yes. you had said, mm. but you put on the volunteer work that yes. you did. You went mm. to a children's orphanage. You are helping out with this and that. You know, it, they actually help you out. And what is the place, even as we come to a conclusion on this particular conversation, what is the place of uh, you as a <coughs> form for liver looking for mentors? You might not know who exactly you 
you know, how do you look for mentors? You you want to know who's doing this particular course that you you want to go into. So how do you go about looking for the right mentors? You know, for the right mentors, you must have your goals set first. You must come up with your goals and uh, maybe uh, the plan. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Once you have what you want, then um, maybe you can benchmark with people who does the same thing that you want in line with what you want. Mm -hmm. And then you, you, you just do a follow up. Yeah. Meet the people that are in the same line with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It is just that simple. Okay. You don't have to strain much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So look for people yeah. who are on the same line the that same you want line. to get into mm. and ask the right questions ask and the get right the right questions. advice yeah. from them. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. I don't know if I've missed something on what next after Form 4 what that you want to mention. next after Form 4? Mm -hmm. uh, I think probably those for now would be very elite. Uh, maybe lastly, mm -hmm. Look for a job, something small. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't go by the talent, if you don't have the 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 skills, mm -hmm. or maybe the talent, you don't have the short courses. You can as well look for something to keep you busy. You know, the idea that you are trying to create here is that idleness. That is what we don't want. <laughs> you see. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get a job. It might be working at a cyber cafe or maybe uh, a restaurant somewhere, petrol station. You know, there are so many things you can do hands-on. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you are just on the reception desk. It really doesn't matter how much or how little you are earning from that, but it will teach you so many things. It mm -hmm. will teach you responsibility. You see? You will learn how to be responsible. It will teach you how to socialize with people. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Okay. So... Um, it is important. Try and do something. Mm -hmm. Don't stay at home. Otherwise, <laughs> do whatever you do. Mm. Do not be idle at home. Sure. Make use of the time that you have, mm. the resources around you, the people around you, the mentors, right? Mm. And choose the right courses according to your passion and according to what's marketable in yeah. in the mm. in the industry in the in the country even right now. Mm. Okay. Amazing. So uh, before I close, uh, what are some of the courses that are actually marketable? Uh -huh. Currently, we have technical courses. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I can say technical courses are much more marketable because they, they provide you with hands-on experience mm -hmm. or skills. Yeah. Uh, we have other courses like uh, medicine, we have uh, law and all those. Mm -hmm. uh, they, those. Those ones are for the other category, you see. But mm -hmm. also this category that did not qualify for the C plus, so I can advise them to go for the the technical courses. The technical courses are yeah. actually very marketable now, mm. and I would also say you know the courses around technology and all that yes. they are evolving. So those mm. are some of the other marketable uh, courses that are there. Mm. All right, so uh, I am tempted to ask you a question based <laughs> on your other <laughs> title that you have as an okay. evangelist. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about a certain um, about uh, TB Joshua. TB Joshua. Yes, a certain mm -hmm. expose that has been done by BBC. What's your reaction to it? Okay, though I haven't really taken time to watch, I tried looking at it on my way, but I didn't ah. really take much time. Okay. I just rushed through. I think I did the first episode. But this is what I can say. Mm -hmm. uh, the world as it stands, truth is very rare. Very, very rare. Mm -hmm. And uh, people need to sit down and read their Bibles. Sit and read your Bible. Get to know God as an individual person. Mm -hmm. Like you hear people say, Jesus Christ is my personal savior. Let Christ be your personal savior. Mm -hmm. So many people know about God, but very few know God. It okay. takes an experience to know God, mm -hmm. you see, yeah. I can know the word of God. I read it. I have all the, all the rhyming words at the end of my, my sermons. <laughs> but again, it's just the word of God that I know, but I don't know the God of the word. Okay. Yeah. So it is important to have a personal relationship with God at this time. I'll not really pick, cherry pick, but yeah. um, it would be very clear to the church Mm -hmm. why the world is becoming the police of the church. <laughs> of the church. Uh -huh. It's because they have failed somewhere. These things, they see them every day. 
but they do nothing about them. Mm -hmm. You try talking about them, they'll brand you. Hey, you are judging, you are judgmental, you are this, you are that, you mm -hmm. see. But again, because God loves his church, he loves the church. That is why he's exposing such people. Mm. Uh, uh, my tech, though, I haven't really interacted with T.B. Joshua, mm -hmm. and I also haven't received a special communication from God concerning him. Okay. Yeah, but there are some things I have seen that are not in line with the Bible. Yeah, that is my take for now. Okay. And uh, <laughs> as so Habert. Mm -hmm. As Habert, know yes. God for yourself. <laughs> Read the word and, ha you know, mm. it's a personal relationship. It's a personal relationship. It's not about just uh, the religious system. Yeah. You know, we have a system that tells you once you can go to church, once you have a covering, you're all good. <laughs> once you can give a tenth. You are good, you can go so and... Yeah, they don't read the Bible. Mm -hmm. They don't take their personal time for devotion. That's why they become so vulnerable to uh, deception, Okay. you see. So you need to develop a relationship with God. You need to know Jesus. Take your time, study the word. Mm -hmm. Take your time and read the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no get lost on. somewhere with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I think that's a good, that's a good reaction <laughs> to it. A good response. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, do not allow yourself to be deceived. That has been uh, Herbert Odemo. He is an evangelist. That's why he has commented on that. Apart from that, we have been discussing on matters education because he is our dedicated teacher currently uh, teaching at Math Miranda. <laughs> Miranda High School, one of the top schools that have performed well in this, uh, the recently uh, released KCSE examination. So that's why we put a cap on it. But we have another interesting conversation coming up next with Brian Sakwa. So stick with us. See you on the other side of the break.